Hi, welcome. Here I have the HP laptop and I do have the battery alert message here on the top left corner. It says that the HP battery alert primary battery error code 601. Um, internal battery 601 indicates that the battery is not holding the charge on the laptop and the computer doesn't really hold a charge at all. It can die off very quickly. So for example, that the computer um, right now is turned on to the login screen and I have the charger plug into the computer. As soon as I remove the charger, I think the computer is less than five minutes or less than two minutes, the computer would just automatically shut off on its own. So that indicates that the battery uh, definitely is really weak, not holding the charge whatsoever and that is the time where you need to replace the battery. Alright, so I'm going to let the computer battery die off on its own. I know that it doesn't hold the charge at all. Hopefully, it will die off very soon. Come on. There you go, the computer just dies off. Um, that was less than two minutes. All right, I'm gonna jump right into the model here. If you turn it around at the back of the computer, right here it says HP model 17M-CE1013DX. There are hidden screw in the back of the computer. To find out the hidden screw, first you need to remove this little rubber. I just use a metal prying tool to go underneath to pry it open um, to remove the, the, the that rubber here. So it's kind of like a double-sided adhesive tape. It tapes onto the base on the computer. Uh, to remove it, it just simply peeled it off. Next step, I'll be using a Phillips screwdriver. And Let's remove the screw here. If you're not sure where to buy the replacement battery or the tools, please check the link down in the description below. I'll link it to either eBay or Amazon where you can find that replacement battery as well as the tools for this repair. So once you have removed all the Phillips screws, the next screw would be the Torque 5. This is a T5 screwdriver. Once that is done, the next step is to open up the back cover. I'll be using a tiny metal prying tube to stick it in between that cover. Kind of have a little gap here and a little small opening. I'll be using a plastic prying tube to run it down. Try to avoid using the metal because you might make a scratch onto the uh, the plastic. Okay, once the back cover is removed, you can see that the battery here is at the bottom right corner. That is the battery. That's one indicate, uh, one of the indicator that you can pay attention to the battery is if your battery is lump, like swollen, or bulging or maybe that it pushes off your trackpad if you feel like your trackpad here uh, is not clickable having a hard time to click that more likely is because the battery is pushing from the inside out meaning from the internal part of the computer is pushing to the trackpad preventing you from clicking so those are the indicator that you can pay attention to uh, that tells you that the battery is bad A 
I'm using Phillips screwdriver, removing the screws here. There are six screws in total. Once you remove all the six screws, put it on the side. And to remove the battery, all you have to do is just simply lift it straight up. I'm going to show it to you that the battery is somewhat swollen. You can see that the plastic has been separating apart. Okay. And here you can see that it's lumpy. Alright, the model for the battery is LK03XL. That is the model for this battery here, LK03XL. Uh, check the link down in the description below. Sometimes if Amazon doesn't ship it, you can try using eBay. Um, because this is lithium ion battery, they may have regulate, regulation on the shipping process. Assuming that the new battery arrived, let's just say this is the new battery replacement. All you have to do is just a simple reverse process. I like to align here at the bottom right corner. You can see that there are two uh, holes. And one of the hole is to match the uh, the little plastic here as a guide, which is on the top. And then there's another one here, the guide, which is matches at the bottom. Once you match both of the guides here, and just simply drop the battery, and it would definitely align right into the connector where you can start putting the screws, six screws to hold onto the battery. Once you have the battery installed with all the screws, you can just install the back cover just like that. Press it down. There's a clipper that clips onto the back cover and put in all the screws back together. Charge up the computer. I would say give it a four to six hours fully charged and the computer, the battery should be back to all normal situation for you and um, you're all set, all right? And if you do find this video is helpful, please smash the like button for me. I really appreciate you for liking the video. And if you want to support my channel and my work, the videos that I do, please click on YouTube Super Thanks. YouTube Super Thanks allow you to share your gratitude. And I really appreciate you for um, showing the support. All right. Thanks for watching. Until next time, if you have any question, comment down below. Thanks for watching. Bye now.